All right, everyone, welcome back to After Even Fall, a channel all about inspiring you to embark on adventures from home. Today, I have something I'm super excited about. I was reached out to by this company called Harbor Loot to review some of their items. I actually don't know what's in this box yet, and I'm really stoked to get into it. And yeah, let's go ahead and open it. So you guys, I was reached out to um, by the owner of the company is Robert and he is, can I just say he is so unbelievably nice. He messaged me a few times, we went back and forth and he has just been so so fun to work with and I always love supporting small businesses that have good people running them. I just think it's, small, it's so hard to run a small business already and then to be a good person on top of it, it's just really makes you stand out. Their sticker on the front is super cute too. All right, so let's go ahead and see what's inside. I'm really, oh, this looks nice. Oh, so I dropped my scissors. That's not a good thing to drop. Okay, so first of all, what do I start with? Wow. Wow, he sent me a lot, you guys. That's so sweet of them. So I'll start with this little box. I'll try to move this over to the side. And let's see what's in here. So I think this is a dice set. Oh, these are actually really cool. Oh, cool. So I've got the AR metal die. They are copper around the edges and then they're green in the middle. I really like that color combo. I think it looks really nice. So I don't have any metal die. My husband tried to order me some a few months ago for Christmas and they ended up not getting here or not coming at all. I think the Etsy shop closed down, but I've wanted metal die for so long and these look, they have some really nice weight to them and they're really good quality. Like they're not chipped or anything. They look really nice. I don't know how well you guys can see it. I'll try to include, but they look just super, super nice. Okay, so that is the dice. Now I'm gonna set that aside and we'll go into the next thing. So next I've got, I think this is another die set would be my guess. It comes in another one of those baggies. Oh wow, it's a few die sets. Whoa. So this, I think that they sell this as an individual set, so you can buy a bag and then they come with all of these different fun colored sets. I don't know how well you can see these, they kind of look dark, but in person these are just beautiful. I love this, like this dark pink color, like when you hold it up to the light and it just lights up perfectly. Oh, that looks so good! I think I am going to have a new obsession. <laughs> I don't know if I've told you guys this before, but I love collecting things, and I, like, I don't know, dice is definitely up there on my list because it's so small and easy to collect, and it's great for, like, those of you who might be into D&D &D, to have a bunch of different sets. This set's really cool. It's like a green with, mixed with black set. It's almost like ink inside of it. It swirls around a little bit. Oh, man, they just look phenomenal. Same thing here, I've got set, like an amber colored set with some smoky swirls in it. And a blue and a red set too. Oh, those just look so good, you guys. I'm so excited about this. I have never, this is, you know, Harbor Loot is the very first company that I've had reach out to me to do any reviews on any products or things like that. And I am so touched that they thought enough of me to reach out. I don't know, it just seems crazy to me because I feel like it's been so early since I started my YouTube channel and this is kind of a milestone, but I am so appreciative of them and this is so sweet of them. I kind of just told them to send me like whatever they felt like they would want other people to see and this is just so sweet of them. I can't express it enough. Like, I don't know, I just think it's the sweetest thing ever. Anyway.
All right, we'll keep going. Okay, so. I always struggle opening all these, that's why I have scissors, but I get so nervous to cut stuff. So I've got another baggie here. It's a cute little velvet bag. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm still getting over being sick. That's why I didn't have the energy to like do my hair today. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. These are like baby dye. Oh my gosh. So everything I just showed you a minute ago in the big bag, it looks like they have one of each color and they come with these adorable little like look at that look at how little that bag is oh my goodness I gotta pull out the bigger the bigger one so here's like the big red and the little bed red they are just tiny they are so okay I am a sucker for little things I think tiny little oh oh I think little things are just the cutest things on the planet those are adorable I love them so much oh I just want to like treasure them. They need to go in like a really pretty jar or something. They are so cute. Okay, I'll put them away and then I have to find some place cool to put them. I'm so afraid of using these. They're so adorable. I'm going to be using these all the time. I'm so psyched. Okay, so let's go to the next thing. I have... Okay, so I'm actually super excited about this. I did a ton of, a little bit of research into their company right after I was reached out to by them. And I had never heard of dice stacking before. And now I've been kind of obsessed with watching videos of it. It is so cool. For any of you who don't know, basically with dice stacking, you get like these vertical cups, and vertical sided cups, and you um, scoop up dice off of a table and you have to like shake the cup back and forth to keep the die in it while the cup is still upside down and you keep scooping and scooping and scooping and then you like slide the cup across the table and you pull it up and there's like a stack of I know this is probably simplifying it I know there's probably a lot more talent to it than I'm saying but you basically pull the cup up and there's a stack of dice right there I guess that they do competitions for it I've heard that there are some I read that there are some big time competitions for it in Germany and I am dying to try it out. It seems like the coolest party trick and I want to learn how to do it so badly. So let's get into this. It looks like they sent me two of them so I can compete against my husband, which I'm really excited about. I think that'll be really fun. Maybe we'll try to do a video on that soon. So let's get into one of these. So they have their container that the cups come in. And you have to be sure to do it with plastic cups too because you don't want to break them. And then there is... All right, so there are the die. And with this set, they are casino size die. They're a little bit larger than like your standard die size. They are, well, definitely smaller or bigger than your standard D6. And that I've heard helps quite a bit with the stacking. I think the record for stacking is like something like 20, 30 dice. I'm probably really killing that, but so this says put me in the bottom of the black cup to prevent nested cups from sticking together, which is really smart. I will definitely have to do that. So this must be, this is the black cup. So I'm going to, should I try it? I'm kind of afraid to try it. <laughs> okay. So I think I'll try it first with the white cup or with the clear cup, which is this one right here. I'm going to set some of this all aside. It looks like they use really nice, I think this is, re, um, I think this is sustainable packaging as well. Okay, so this is going to be really loud. I'm going to move my scissors out of the way. I just want to try it just once. So I guess you like, <laughs> no way. I am not, okay, I if I put it in a line. I've seen some people do that. I tried to watch a bunch of videos on this beforehand. It might get really loud here for a second. So do you like... <laughs> I cheated. I cheated. No. You're going to need to like stand up. No. I'm afraid of it like... Bring it off to the side. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to try this later. 
I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me do this for forever. So I'm going to try this later. And then I will come back to you on my thoughts on it. I'm actually really excited to start this. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. I kind of want to see if we could challenge everyone to try die stacking. I want to see how fast you guys can do it or how long it takes you to figure it out because I feel like it might take me a while, but it would be fun to start like a die stacking challenge on our, on our, um, channel. I'd love to see what you guys can do with it. So that is one of them. I'm going to assume that the other one is the same. That's so sweet of them to send me two of them though. I think this is the same. Yeah. So this one is the same set. So I've got two of them now, which is so, so extremely nice of them. I cannot make it, I cannot emphasize enough how nice this company is and how sweet Robert was the entire time that we were talking. So let's see what else do we have here. <clears throat> So this is the double dice cup set, black and brown. I'm so afraid of cutting this. Okay, so first off the bat, I will say it feels like really high quality. I really like the material. So um, <clears throat> something that you guys might not know about me, I used to run an embroidery business and which revolved a lot around using embroidery vinyls, marine vinyl and um, faux leather, stuff like that. And having been around it a lot, I'll say that this right off the bat feels like really nice quality, um, which is something I always look forward to. Oh, it's it. And the inside they have it lined with velvet and it's very sturdy, very like very strong. <clears throat> which is like I said it's something I always look out for I'm kind of a nitpick about stuff like that just because I worked with the materials for so long um so these are dice cups for you to use this one is black they're both black and I love this like brown dark brown leather color mixed with the black I think that looks really nice so the dice so there are the cups and then it also comes with this like dark smoky looking dye color Again, they're kind of the, they are the casino size die. And I like that they have rounded corners. I know some people like straight edge corners. I have some that are straight edge. Like I've got these glass ones over here that are, I don't know. I like a mix. <clears throat> I like some to be rounded edge because they bounce a lot more. And I think that's kind of satisfying. But then I also like some of the straight edge ones. I think these ones are straight edge. Yeah. These ones have a little bit more of a straight edge to them. These ones are rounded. I like that with the straight edge, you get your roll right off the bat with the rounded ones. You kind of get the satisfaction of that bounce. Um, both work really well with dice towers. But yeah, so I have this smoky color. So I can put that in this bag. Oh, there's something else in here. Oh, and then there are all these little chips. I am not 100% sure what the chips are for. I don't... I would love it though if you guys could explain it to me a little bit or tell me some, give me some ideas. But they have these little, they feel like really good quality, um, uh, like tokens. And I'm gonna keep those in the packaging just because I don't want to lose them by accident. So there's that set. And then I think this is the same color, would be my guess. Yeah, it's the same, which I. Yeah, they're the same, which I like a lot. So, but yeah, so I've got the same thing here except with these darker pieces, which is kind of fun. You, I, I've heard that there are quite a few things that you can do with sets like this. I like being able to roll things out of a cup better that's, um, that are like these leather ones just because they make a lot less noise. And I'm kind of a nitpick about noise. I actually don't like things to be too loud. It kind of hurts my ears. So I like being able to have things that allow me to roll dice without being totally bombarded or overwhelmed. I'm really excited for this set, and I don't know, I think I already said it, but this one comes with these black, these black, um, tokens. And it's so nice that these can fit just straight in here, and you can just close it all up and have it on hand. I kind of want to put this somewhere I can see it. I like it a lot. All right, so what else? So there are two more things in here, and they are dice mats, which... I love dice trays. Like, if you can, I love these velvet dice trays. They are my favorite. I have some hexagon ones, but what drives me nuts about them is they're a little too small and the raised edges are a little too tall, so when you roll, you don't get to see what's in them. Whoa. 
Yeah, these are way nicer than the ones that I had before. So these are really, really sturdy quality. Oh, I'm almost like afraid to bend it. It's so nice. So you can see it's this uh, leather on one side with their logo, Harbor Loot. And then on the other side, it's this really nice plush velvet. Not plush, thick velvet. And then you go ahead and you'll snap these corners together. And I, what I was saying is I have had hexagon ones in the past. And what I don't like about the hexagon ones is they're not as big as this. And so when I am rolling dice, which let me get these ones out. When I am rolling dice, if you're like sitting across from them on the table and they have steep edges, they're straight edges. So when you're sitting across from them on the table and you roll, if you don't have a board game table like me, you have to like kind of lean over to see it. These ones, the edges are angled on and I like that the tray is wide enough that I can really see my rolls. So I love this. This is so nice. So I've got this, um, I've got this black one right here, which will be my husband's favorite. I am positive because he loves black colored things. So we've got this black one. And like I said, you guys, I mean, this is really surprisingly high quality. I was not prepared to have it be so nice. Um, like I said, my other ones were the cheapies from Amazon and those ones are really worn down. This one feels like it's going to be able to stick around for a long time. It's really nice. I'm really excited to use it. And then I also have this purple one here, which I'm sure will end up being mine because I do love purple. And again, it's the same thing. It's the purple, it's the black leather on the back, the Harbor Loot. I think it's faux leather. It is... I love this vibrant purple color. I don't know if anyone can tell, but I really like, I don't know. I like like teals, blues, and pinks. Those are probably my favorites. And, or teals, blues, purples, and pinks. Those are my favorite. So I'm super stoked about this. It just feels like such good quality. I'm so excited about these. I just wanna like have them up. I just have to. I am so psyched about all of this stuff. And then the very last thing in the box is they have a little sticker or two little stickers. And they're kind of sparkly. I like that a lot. Not to just, <laughs> I love sparkly stickers. Um, yeah, so this is everything that they sent me. So let me get it all out again. I've got the two dice stacking. I've got the two dice stacking cups. I'm just trying to make sure you guys can see. And then they gave me these two mats and the leather double dice cups. And then I've got, I'm so excited about these miniature dice. I've got these little die, the big die, and then these metal die, which is more than I ever could have imagined that they would have sent me. I am so grateful for their company. And I would highly encourage anyone, if you are looking to get gaming gear, if you're looking to get, like, like I said, like if you're looking to get leather dice trays which are super nice I love dice trays or if you're looking to get maybe some cups to roll your dice out of or some um, dice stacking things or even they have a ton of dice on their website they've got like the metal ones they have the colorful sets and I would highly recommend their company they are good people behind it they are fantastic and that is Harbor Loot and I just am so appreciative of them all right everyone so that has been my unboxing of Harbor Loot items today. I hope you enjoyed it because I know I did and I would recommend that if you are looking into buying anything from Harbor Loot, I have an affiliate link right down below in the description box. You can go ahead and click that. It will send you right to their website where you can purchase their products and I would highly recommend them to anyone who's interested. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of you for supporting my channel and I'm so grateful to each and every one of you for the extra support and love that you give my, send my way all the time. You guys mean so much to me. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you for joining me here in the After Evenfall community.